This video is about how to find good books for a particular research topic you might have uh, for your history courses. So there are a couple of really great places to find books, a couple of different databases that work incredibly well that we have through Murphy Library. One of them is called WorldCat, and there's a separate video about that, but the way you find it is to go to databases and then by name, and then you would select WorldCat, and I uh, recommend it, you use the new interface. But if you're really looking for material that's just in the UW system or that's on campus, this is a great place to start. Books, articles, and more. And you can either select just the ones that are at UWL, or you can look in the entire UW system. So let's say you're doing a research project on Native American boarding schools. Figuring out a good set of search terms is really important for this, and in this case, Native American boarding schools is probably a great set of terms to start with, because if you just did Native American schools or just boarding schools, you might not get enough um, cross-currents in your information to get the kind of sources that will be really helpful for whatever your project is. Um, when you get a search result, you'll notice that there are over a thousand results. It can be very helpful to make a few changes. So for instance, if you're only interested in books, you could click over here under research, resource type just to get books. So that's a good one to select. Then it's important to know what kind of access you have. You're able to know that we have it right on campus either physically or as an ebook, if it has a green dot. And if it is available physically, it'll tell you where to look, and you would then write down this, which is called the call number of the book, and then find it on Murphy Library's second floor. It's a good idea, too, to write down the title and the author's last name. Now, this uh, indicates that we have online access to it, and what you would have to then do is sign in to um, this particular database that we have a subscription to, and then you can read the entire book online. It's, it's becoming more and more common, which is, which is great. Now, there might be some other book that you really want, but we don't have it online or at Murphy Library. These are all the, all the books that are related to Native American boarding schools uh, in the UW system. And so if you see this yellow dot, it means you can get it in through um, just a borrowing technique within the system. And you, you, as it says, you click on get it uh, in order to do so. You'll need to sign in in order to do this, and I already have. And once you've signed in, it'll just be this button that you click, UW request. There'll be just a few more fields to, to fit in, make sure all the information is correct, and then you hit uh, submit. And then this will be coming, this should arrive at UWL within just a few days. It's actually a really great service and actually quite fast. Um, so that's, those are the different kinds of results you can get, but another way to then come to maybe even better topics of information is to look at Library of Congress subject headers. And basically, every book that's been submitted to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. has been categorized according to its subject, and then similar subjects are attached to similar types of books. When that happens, such as off-reservation boarding schools, it means that this tag is associated with every book uh, about that. So if we click on this, we may come to even more particular um, uh, sources for this, since all of these will be about off-reservation schools. So we get slightly different search results. There are 20 in the system, some of which are the same, uh, as you'll see. Um, it still can be important, though, to find out more information about what you're looking at, in which case you should look at details and then check this subject area out. Occasionally you'll find that these are actually written for young children, and so it'll say something like juvenile literature. Uh, chances are this would not be a good source, if it does say something like that, to use in a research paper. So you do want to make sure that you have the right level of information. You want to make sure that it's, for instance, nonfiction. Um, in this case, they are looking at literature, but also letters. So there could be some really interesting information um, about that. And oftentimes, it'll also tell you what parts of the country um, a particular book has to do with. And so if it's just Kansas you're looking for, you can click on Kansas. If you want Wisconsin, you can do that. Um, 
one good book can lead to others, not only when you use pearl growing, but also when you're looking at a library record. Uh, so those are the main ways to locate good books, whether they are directly on Murphy Library's campus, whether we have online access to them instantaneously, or whether you need to get them through um, uh, UW borrowing. Um, if you do wind up with a, a title that isn't in the UW system, then the way you access that is through something called Interlibrary Loan, and you'll see links in the research module. Uh, about that. But just know that you have access to virtually every source that's published. It's an amazing uh, opportunity and benefit of, of being a student at UWL.